Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. As you can tell by the title, we are going estate sale shopping today. I've never gone to an estate sale, but I have obviously loved thrifting. And I've kind of hit the jackpot at some garage sales, so I figured I would try my hand at estate sales. Let me give you a little outfit of the day, it's so cute. Okay, I'm wearing my Skims dress. I love a maxi dress for summer. It's just the most comfortable thing ever. My dad sneakers, and then I threw this sweater over my shoulders. I don't think I'll actually end up putting it on, but just to give like a little bit more coverage. And then I'm just gonna take my Lulu belt bag so I can be hands free. Okay, let's go dig through some old people stuff. So off to the estate sales we went and the first thing that I ran into at the first sale was a giant table of jewelry. I found so much stuff, honestly. And then I found these cool crystals. The one that I grabbed was not there and these tarot cards, which I did not get, but was interested. Also this camera, it was like a cool vintage film camera. I just really did not know if this was gonna work. The lens was so dirty. And this house did not have a ton of clothes, but it did have a ton of cool books. Like if I was furnishing an apartment or a house and I needed some cool coffee table books, this would be the jackpot. They had so many, they were a dollar each, tons of like art and history. And then I finally found the clothes and I found these three real fur coats. Two of them were marked for $75 and this one was marked for $25, I guess because the other ones were longer. I looked it up and I believe that this is a vintage mink coat from like the 1950s. I looked up the tags and the brands and stuff. I liked that it was shorter, it fit really well. It was lighter weight than one that I ended up finding later on at a different sale, but I liked it still. The second one, again, had a huge table of jewelry. I didn't pick anything up from this, but if I wore more gold, this kind of reminded me of like the cool big pendant necklaces that we've been seeing around, but I did not get it. The jewelry is always so cheap at the estate sales. Definitely check it out. I found some jackets and stuff, but it was not my size and not my style. There was a ton of purses that I was interested in, but I didn't end up finding any. The thing about estate sales is all of this stuff is just like, old people stuff like it's grandma and grandpa stuff so a lot of the stuff is not my style nor my size but i do like to look through it just in case sometimes you find some gems and then we went to the third place and this place was definitely the nicest place that we went to they had tons and tons and tons of home stuff like these martini glasses if i had a use for them i would have picked them up so fast they were so cute i found these bags and all of these shoes were my size but just not my style this little orange bag it would be so cute for summer if i wore orange but it's like one of the colors that i never wear tons of cute little casual bags i didn't pick any of them up this blue color was like kind of interesting but i would never wear it this black bag right here that you see i feel like i should have looked at but i just didn't even notice it until going through my clips there was more clothes here than the other places but not a ton stuck out i did end up finding one sweatshirt and another fur coat there was actually two there was one coat and one like bolero throw kind of thing these were both such good quality so i picked up the jacket for 20 dollars. it was supposed to be 25. All right, guys, it is the next day. In my opinion, I just didn't find enough at the estate sale to make it a whole video. So I didn't want to jip you guys. And this morning we are actually doing a huge subdivision garage sale again. If you haven't seen my video from a couple weeks ago, go check it out. I found some gems for the low low. It was so cheap. And we're doing another one today in a little bit of a nicer neighborhood. So I'm very excited. We're getting there a little bit earlier. Let's go.
Guys, I'm so happy that we went to the garage sales. I found a few bits and pieces of some cool clothing items. I didn't find a ton, but what I did find is so good. So I'm so happy that I found it. The first thing I got is this like mock neck sweatshirt. I love the navy, I love the mock neck. It gives me like a nautical kind of vibe. I just love an oversized sweatshirt. What can I say? You can't say too much about it. I don't have a mock neck oversized sweatshirt and this looked comfy and I liked the design. I got two fur coats. They each came from a different estate sale. So the first one, to the best of my knowledge, these are real fur coats. This one is like a really, really dark brown. It is a little bit beat up and I don't like the fit as much as the other one. And it just doesn't feel as good of quality. So I'll probably end up selling this one, but this was the first one that I picked up and I did like it. And I didn't know if I would find another one, but I have heard that buying fur coats at estate sales, it's like where to get them because you can find real fur for $25. But I also picked up this one and this is like more of a chocolate brown, but this feels so luxurious. It's so heavy. I love the cuffed sleeves. I love the length of it. I love that it's a little bit shorter. It like crosses over in the front. The buttons are like a hidden button, which I think is super cute. It's from Famous Bar in St. Louis. I don't know if Famous Bar was like a national thing. The lining is really pretty. I have no idea what size this is, but this feels so freaking warm. I cannot wait to wear this in the winter. I also got some jewelry from the estate sales. I got four things. The first thing I got is just this like layered gold chain bracelet. So cute. I just thought it was a great basic, simple gold piece. I feel like I could get so much use out of this and I love that it's not too big. I hate when bracelets are too big for my wrist. It's why I never wear them because I can never find good ones. The next one I found gave me like the casual heart pendant necklace vibes with this black string. And it's just this like iridescent stone. I have no idea if you know what this is. It looks like a little flame. I don't know, let me know. I picked up these two, I think they're like really long necklaces. I got one in this like champagne kind of color and a white and they're really, really long and they're a little stretchy. So my vision for these is to try to use them as like waist chains on vacation. And I think if I have to, I could cut them and add in like a clasp. So that way I could just clasp it around my waist. I think that would work. So I might do that. All of this jewelry they gave me for $2, I think. Now for the garage sale clothes. Guys, this is a black maxi skirt. I've been wanting a black maxi skirt and it's like fringy at the bottom, not fringe, but like uneven. It's not just a straight cut. It's got like whatever, some shape to it, which I really like because I think it makes it more casual. It's a medium, so it'll be slightly bigger. I kind of like my skirts to be a little bit bigger. From the same house, I got, I assume what is vintage Forever 21. It's like a metallic black sequined knit crocheted almost moment halter 
maxi dress. Guys, this is stunning. I cannot wait to try it on and like see how I'm gonna style it. It's got a little bit of a slit. This is everything I could have asked for in like a little Y2K dress. I cannot wait to wear this in Punta Cana on the beach to a nice dinner at sunset. I'm picturing it. Oh my God, it's gonna be gorgeous. This was a steal. She gave it to me for five bucks. We went to a bunch of other houses, but I found one more thing and that is this leather bomber. It's in a size medium and all of my other leather jackets are pretty oversized. So I'm glad to have a bomber style jacket. You can tell it's real leather. It's from Round Tree and York. Never heard of it. And this is heavy. This will be like a really warm, really heavy jacket to wear in the winter. I love my leather bomber, the one that I have, but sometimes it's just too big and I'm excited to have this one that fits just a little bit better. And this was $5. I found some great little fashion pieces and I know that this is a fashion channel, but I did find some home stuff. So if you're interested in that, I will show it to you. I got <laughs> this gigantic blanket. I just thought the color was so pretty and I love this kind of like lightweight, thin, material in blankets. It's just a comfy blanket to have. And this one is gigantic. I have no idea what size this is. I put it through the wash already. I love this color. I just think you can't beat it. And it was like $4. You can never have too many blankets, especially when you're always cold like me. The next home item that I am so excited about is this crystal. She is beautiful. Oh. She's breaking. It's so big, like crystals like this. This was $15 and I looked it up before I bought it. It helps balance your chakras, ground you, calm you, all the important things, really. And last but not least, I bought a clothing rack. Woo! This was at one of the garage sales. You guys can't see it. I fill up clothing racks like no other, obviously. It was for sale, it was $3. It kind of seemed like a no-brainer. I had so much fun going to the estate sales and the garage sales, and this is like really becoming my favorite thing to do. It's like the summer of garage sales. It's amazing seeing what I put on like my mood board and then what pieces just seem to find me. And you get such a great deal. It's so fun. I feel like it challenges you to really understand your personal style and know what you're looking for instead of just shopping on a website and following the trends and just always doing that. And it is so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.